Miku Miku Moving is a program intended to improve on the features of the unmaintained Miku Miku Dance. Sadly, further development on Miku Miku Moving has stopped as well. So, why should anyone use Miku Miku Moving over Miku Miku Dance? The pros. Miku Miku Moving offers a lot more settings and customizations compared to MMD, including being able to rebind shortcuts, having more control over render settings and presets, changing the look of the program and arrangement of sections, and many more. One of those settings is the automatic backup file. You can set in what intervals how many backup saves are supposed to be created. Given how MMM saves its own type of project files, it takes up next to no storage space and saves instantly without you noticing it. I personally set it to save every minute and keep 120 backups, meaning I can go back to any minute of the last two hours of work. Keep in mind that those backup files are separate files stored numerically, so they won't be made for each project individually. The autosave will also only start while working on an open save file. Another small but welcome setting is the default interpolation curve and the interpolation templates. This allows you to quickly change the interpolation curve of keyframes without having to change them manually every time. Even better, you can change the default interpolation curve so you don't have to mess with every single curve after registering keyframes. The biggest selling point for Miku Miku Moving are the motion layers and the motion clips. Motion layers allow you to have multiple keyframes on the same bone at any given frame. This makes it possible to create round, arcing motions by offsetting the keyframes. You can also enable locus to even show the path that the bones will move in. Motion clips behave like self-contained animations. They allow for animations to be looped and repeated endlessly. They help organizing your motion into different sections, but can also be used to layer multiple animations on top of each other or nesting them into each other. Motion clips can be exported as a new type of motion file called .mvd. Last but not least, Miku Miku Moving allows the development and use of plugins. These make it possible to automate tedious tasks like adding blinking to models, easily adding animation noise by randomizing keyframe values, or show more information on the display. If Miku Miku Moving has so many advantages, why are people still using Miku Miku Dance? The cons. Just like Miku Miku Dance, development has stopped for a long time and is sadly not open source. There's also no guide on how to create Miku Miku Moving plugins. The default user interface is even more cluttered than Miku Miku Dance, making it rather overwhelming for a beginner. It also doesn't help that the EK bones and rigid body physics don't always behave like they do in Miku Miku Dance. Not every single feature from Miku Miku Dance is also available in Miku Miku Movie. Especially bone parenting isn't available in Miku Miku Moving, with the exception of the mother bone. While it is possible to use raycasts in Miku Miku Moving, you need a special version made for Miku Miku Moving, which is even more tedious to set up and use than in MMD. It also doesn't support all of the original functionalities like depth of field or fork. To top it all off, exporting motion files doesn't work completely. Facial morph keyframes don't get exported when the interpolation curve isn't linear for them or when using motion clips. For the camera, motion layers don't get exported and motion clips aren't even available for it. So animating the camera is no different than animating it in Miku Miku Dance. While the rest of the motion does get exported properly, like the bone movement. It creates keyframes for every bone for every single frame, increasing the overall motion file size. So with all that, why should anyone consider using Miku Miku Moving? Miku Miku Moving isn't really suited for rendering because of how tedious the setup is with Raycast. But even though it doesn't export facials and camera motions properly, it helps a lot with animating. The autosave function will make sure that hours of animation work won't suddenly get lost because of corruptions or when forgetting to save, while the motion layers allow round arcs to be made, making your animations more dynamic. The motion clips and the existing add-ons take away so much of the tedious work, letting you focus on actually making animations. After animating in Miku Miku Moving, you can delete the unused keyframes, add facials, as well as bone parenting in Miku Miku Dance with little effort. To summarize, if you only need a renderer or just make small edits, Miku Miku Dance will be good enough. However, if you actually want to make original motions, you should definitely try out Miku Miku Moving. To get started, I suggest watching Adama's tutorial about Miku Miku Moving and reading the Miku Miku Moving documentation.